Getting a visit from Bristow and Suter doesn't have to be a scary experience, especially if you know the truth about what they can and can't do. Firstly, bailiffs, or to give them their professional title, enforcement agents, can't just force their way into any old home. They can only visit between 6am and 9pm, and they can only force their way in if they're collecting unpaid court fines or HMRC tax debts. My advice is keep your doors locked if you're expecting a visit from the bailiffs and speak to them through a closed door. That way, unless they're collecting the debts, like I just mentioned, they can't force a way in. It's important to ask them to prove who they are and that they work for Bristow and Suter. All enforcement agents should carry their ID documents with them and you can request them to check the legitimate. Get them to pass the documents through your letterbox to you. Once you've got their ID, there are three ways that you can check that they're telling the truth. And I'll leave a link to each website in the description. You should also ask them for a breakdown of what debts they're collecting, so you double check it's all accurate. Again, you can ask them to pass all the information through your letterbox. You don't need to invite them in. If Bristow and Suter are collecting court fines or HMRC debts, then sadly they can force their way into your home. It still has to be amicable though. Bristow and Suter can't climb through your window, they can't push past you, they can't enter if there's a child under 16 in the house or lie about why they're calling. The simplest way to keep them at bay is by agreeing to start paying the debt back. There are lots of options available to you if you're struggling financially. These solutions aren't all suitable for everyone, but there may be one or two that work for you, so I'll run through them quickly for you. First up, debt management plans. They're an informal agreement that you make with the creditors to pay back your debts at a lower, more affordable rate. Normally that means paying less each month, but over a longer time frame. The catch is that you can't include all your debts in a debt management plan. So things like credit card debt, personal loans and overdraft, they can all go in, but court fines and mortgage arrears sadly can't be part of it. Next is debt relief orders. They freeze your debt payments for a full year. And then if your situation hasn't changed after 12 months, the debt's written off. You make no payments towards the debt in 12 months and interest isn't added. Pretty good, right? Sadly, debt relief orders have strict eligibility criteria. For example, you can't own anything of significant value like a house and you can't have more than £2,000 in savings. Another option is offering a final settlement. If you happen to have access to a large lump sum, then you can offer that to Bristow and Suter or the creditors they work for. It might not be for the full amount you owe, but sometimes they'll be willing to write off the remaining debt because you'll be saving them the time from chasing you down for payments each month. Unfortunately, getting your final settlement offer agreed might not be that simple and Bristow and Suter or your creditor could simply refuse. Individual voluntary arrangements are another way to deal with Bristow and Suter. It's a formal agreement between you and your creditors to reduce your payments to one simple payment each month. It lasts for five years and at the end, any remaining debts written off. Again, like with all these options, there are catches. IBAs are legally binding, so you'll need to keep up with the terms that you agree to. Otherwise, you could be back to square one with Bristow and Suter. But all the time it's in place, you shouldn't hear from Bristow and Suter. Bankruptcy is probably the most famous option. You may already know, but with bankruptcy, all your assets are reviewed and some may be sold off to pay back your debt. After a year, any remaining debt will be written off. And like with an IVA, during your year of bankruptcy, you shouldn't hear from Bristow and Suter. Of course, bankruptcies have some off your style sides, mainly that some of your belongings may be sold to pay for your debt and your credit score will become very low. Paying back your debts, whether in full or using a method that I mentioned earlier, will ensure that you keep Bristow and Suter at bay. Unfortunately, you can't just ignore them. They're likely to be persistent, which could make matters a lot worse. Luckily, it doesn't have to get that far if you act now. One simple step that you could take today is to find out if any of the debt solutions that I mentioned could work for you. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website. It's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need about debt solutions that are available. So click the link in the description, check it out. Let me know how you get on.